Hello there, Tuesday the 3rd of October, Julie McCulloch, our Director of Policy and yours truly, and here we are in Chinatown in Manchester, and members might legitimately say, so why do you go to conference, uh, Julie and Jeff and the gang? So we, we come for a, a number of reasons. Uh, we run our own events, so we had one yesterday on Ofsted and the need to move towards single word judgments. Uh, we come to listen to what the government has to say. That was quite great. That was great. Uh, and we, uh, we come to take part and to listen to other organisations' events, really to get a sense of who else is seeking to, to influence the government. In what is going to be a momentous year, ultimately, because we're now uh, getting closer and closer, thankfully, some will say, towards a general election. What kind of events have you either been on a panel or, or observing a panel? So we had our event yesterday on Ofsted. I was on a panel run by the Independent Schools Council looking at um, largely Labour's changes, proposed changes to taxation for independent schools and the families who use them. Um, there's been a couple of quite interesting discussions around uh, Maths to 18 and the Prime Minister's proposals to potentially move to, to that approach and, and possibly as a precursor to, to his idea of a, a British baccalaureate. And you're dashing off now, it's uh, early in the morning before breakfast with Gillian Keegan. Could you just do us a favour and confiscate her telephone for us, please? <laughs> thank you. Okay. I'll do my best. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. So while Julie's having a warm croissant with the Secretary of State, look who's here, even more special. Uh, John Campbell, President, first conference, I think, for you, John. Yeah. Uh, what, what are your impressions been? Yeah, so first uh, Conservative conference to me, really interesting experience and particularly enjoyed um, attending all the fringe events that we've been able to access and some of the really important panels that ASCO have been integral to really focusing on areas of workload, um, teacher recruitment, teacher retention and how we address some of those issues and a fascinating session yesterday on Ofsted and whether um, Ofsted reform is needed and in what form and that was an incredibly um, empowering session and consistency across the audience about need for reform and what that sort of reform could look like. And then particularly for me, really interesting to hear wherever I went, wherever session I attended, special educational needs, the needs of really complex children in our mainstream and special schools, very much at the forefront of people's thinking, how we better resource that and how we better support schools to meet the needs of those young people. And I think one of the things that reassured me really, both in the sessions here at the conference, but also last Friday we had a meeting with the chair of the school teachers review body and we made the point there, and you know this better than anyone in a sense, because of the types of schools that you run, that the nature of the workforce that we've got in education has changed dramatically and the way in which their pay should be determined. So I'm thinking, for example, of school business leaders, but indeed lots of support staff as well, where pay has not been a priority. That is coming through. There's a recognition that we need to understand that. We need to do work with labour, I think, but it's not just about teachers in schools. Um, disappointments for you? I guess, I guess my overriding disappointment is that it's amazing how you have to constantly assert the issues that we know are real and present every day in our schools and how you have to continually bring the evidence to bear to exemplify the real impact of funding, um, workload issues, workforce issues on the system so that people just start beginning to listen um, and understand the practical implications of what we're talking about. Brilliant. It's been great, great having you here. It is bizarre though, isn't it? You've got the most senior person responsible for education, Secretary of State, You've got 44,000 teachers who leave the profession last year, so a massive recruitment retention crisis. Schools literally crumbling, and what do we get? Some non-statutory guidance on mobile phones. Hey ho! It is a strange world, John. We Very will strange. see you at council. We'll be back from council next week. Have a look at the email version where you get all the detail. You look after yourself this week. If you need us, you know where we are. Bye, everyone.